or you're probably feeling like it's time to get a poll. You're probably seeing it on social media. You're watching everyone swim and just enjoy being outdoors. And so you're asking yourself, man, is it really worth building a pool? Especially if you live in Texas, um, it's very hot. So you get to use your pool for maybe, what, six months out of the year? Uh, At least. Yeah, it's very exciting. And if you're going to take away anything out of this video before we potentially scare you from getting a pool, is it worth it? Yeah, it's absolutely at least worth it for us. I think it's a personal decision for us. It's been worth it. Um, we love using the pool during the summer. Friends, family, everyone loves it. And it's just uh, yeah, kind of a cheap activity. Cheap. It's not, it's not cheap for you already invested the money. I know you're going to start calculating financially as long as you can afford it, obviously. Um, the cost of the pool, is it really worth it? Is it going to, you know, increase the value of your home? Will you ultimately get the money back? Yada, 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 yada. The pool is worth it. The major things that we think you should know before you decide to put in a pool. And also, we learned so much from being homeowners and building a home. And we want to share that information with you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can follow along on our journey of what it means to have a home and maintain a home in this day and age. The first thing, which is probably everyone's fear, is the cost of building and maintaining a pool. Now, it's already pretty expensive to install a pool, but when it comes to maintaining the pool, it's definitely something to take into consideration because it's a lifetime or at least a lifetime of your home commitment, almost like getting a pet. You have to recognize that you're going to have to continue to do this. It's another expense, another item on your to-do list um, that you have to maintain. For us, we do use a pool company that comes weekly, especially during the peak pool times um, to help, you know, to help maintain the pool. So that's the weekly pool cleaning, that's balancing the chemicals. But what surprised me um, was the work that still needs to be done, even though you are you have a weekly pool cleaner. So there are times where we balance the chemicals, not times, we often have to check the chemicals each week um, and balance them ourselves um, throughout the week. Um, and then also every morning, we're usually out there scooping out the random things that falls into a pool. We don't even have that many trees, but you'll just find leaves, you'll find dirt. Uh, we have a pool vacuum that's helping clean this pool um, every day. So there's a lot of work that goes into maintaining the pool so that it stays clean, that it stays balanced, and that um, it, it lasts long so that obviously issues don't come up, which can ultimately be costly. So not only do you have to take into consideration the cost of the pool, but you have to take into consideration the cost of maintaining the pool. Another thing in cost that you may not think of um, is everybody wants like a heated pool and we have a heated pool too, which is really great because you're like, oh, it, you know, you'll be able to use the pool for even longer um, than like the summertime or when it's really hot. However, the cost to heat the pool is actually very expensive, especially if you have a larger pool, like the amount of heat that is needed to heat up that large um, of a body of water is a lot. And so your your gas bill is definitely going to increase. And is it worth it for that one day that it was cold outside to heat up that pool? Maybe if you're having a party or an event, but otherwise it's going to be kind of hard to, to make, you know, that decision to let's heat up the pool for eight hours today so we can use it for one hour a day. So definitely heated, having a heating pool is helpful because you want the option to be able to use the pool when it gets cooler, but you, you'd be surprised how often, how little you actually use the heated pool. Now, when it comes to like the heated, um, like the hot tub area, that's different because it's a smaller area that needs to be heated. Next up is safety. Now, this is something you're probably already considering, um, wanting to make sure, especially if you have kids, that your backyard is safe whenever you have a pool. It is something that you should take very seriously and you should definitely not cut costs on. Pool drownings are a big risk when having a pool. 
not only with kids, but also with adults, especially when there's alcohol involved. And so for us, we made sure to do as much as we can to keep our pool area safe. And so adding a fence around the pool was something that we were told would be very helpful. And not only the fence, but making sure that the fence that we added was a certain height so that young children could not reach the, the handle to open up the gate, as well as as a large, very annoying, <laughs> loud sound that happens every time that gate is opened. Um, yes, it added more costs. Yes, it made it less aesthetically pleasing to the eyes to have a fence around our pool. However, for us, it was worth it. And something we were even considering is having an alarm in our backyard. We already have cameras in our backyards. Those are things that you should definitely consider when adding a pool especially if you have kids, not only your own kids, but the kids that live around you. Um, and definitely, definitely, definitely add it into your home or owner's insurance as well, too. The third thing is the problem. Now, you probably seen our problems when it came to um, our backyard. Um, if you haven't, definitely check out the video. But whenever you build a pool, it is so destructive to your backyard. Not It's not only the space that the pool takes up, it's literally the whole entire backyard that will need to be, you know, re, redone after installing this pool. So it's all the, the pipes, it's the irrigation system, it's the, the lawn. Um, so that should probably be added to the cost. But also, as you know from our experiences, the more projects, more problems. <laughs> so a lot of our irrigation system was messed up. A lot of the plumbing issues and the piping issues that were messed up happened during our pool build that we didn't, we weren't aware that they happened until obviously the issue came up. Now, as a homeowner, what I have learned, which is new to me, is you grow a new fear of water. <laughs> Anytime you see water, you're just so scared of what that means. Because when it comes to your pool, if there are issues with water or with the pool generally, the hope is that it's something very simple. Because if it's not, it may require digging, which again is very, very destructive. And so it is a fear when you install that pool that no issues happen after the pool is completed and installed. Because if an issue pops up, there are problems. <laughs> so make sure you do your due diligence on who's putting installing your pool. I unless you're I wouldn't DIY a pool build, but I know people do it. But it is definitely something to take into consideration because men oh men, whenever, you know, the Texas gets their winter freeze or whatever it is, um, we're so scared of those pipes. And we're so scared of any damage that's that done to the pool because if that happens, <laughs> it's going to be expensive and it's going to be destructive. Now, we absolutely love our pool. We would not, I mean, that was one of the first things we knew when we were building our home was there's going to be a pool. We often do workouts in the pool now and it's so great for cardio and it's so great on your body. The pool is worth it. It's just been so amazing to be able to, you know, not have to pack so many bags and so many things to go out to enjoy pool time, right? We can grab, you know, a drink, a towel, our swimwear, and we're good to go. And if we need something, we can come back in. We do not have to make it. It's just not this big ordeal to enjoy the pool. Sometimes like Owu does before work, he'll just do have a 30 minute swim. Absolutely worth it. It doesn't matter the if we ultimately end up getting the money back financially when we sell our home, it is worth it every single day that we're able to go out there and, and use the pool. It, it makes being outdoors so much more fun. It makes the summers so much more bearable. And we actually look forward to summers. It's so fun to have our friends come over. We have a pool party every year. And we also just have friends randomly come over and, you know, hit the grill. And it's it just brings us all together. It brings us so much closer. And it's, it's fun. So if you're thinking about it and you can afford it, do it. Just do it. Don't wait till, oh, you know, when the kids are older so they can enjoy it. Like, do it for you. 
it is definitely worth it. As always, we hope this was helpful. This, the journey of owning a home <laughs> has been a roller coaster. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow us along on our home ownership journey and hopefully learn from our mistakes and our, you know, good choices uh, for when you're building your home or when you're renovating your home. See you soon.